Welcome to Mike Scott Baseball Video Instruction. Today we're going to be talking about the change-up grips. Now the change-up grips, there are a lot of variations in which way you can throw it, but we're just going to talk about a few right here, hopefully give you some ideas for better change-ups. Now let's just start with a simple change-up, the four-finger change, okay, or the straight change, okay. Now if we look at our four-seam fastball, fingers on top, gripping across the long seams, okay, notice there's a little space back here just for the four-seam fastball. The forefinger or the straight change, we're just putting all our fingers on top of the ball, probably leaving a little space. You probably don't want your fingers touching each other. Leave a little space. Thumb is still directly underneath. This ball, when rotated, will come off just like a four-seam fastball, but by using all your fingers, maybe holding onto the ball a little bit softer and taking about 5% arm speed off, you will come off with something that probably loses about 10% of its speed, well, about 5% of its full speed. So if you throw a fastball at 60 miles per hour, your changeup should be around 52, 53 maybe. Okay? So if you throw it uh, in high school or college, okay, changeups uh, usually are about 10 miles per hour slower than your fastball. Okay? So that is our straight change or our four finger change, four fingers on top coming off rotation just like a four seam fastball. Next one is the glab and change. This is called the road on a baseball. Okay, if you take your fingers and you put them along the road, now note, notice which fingers I'm using. I'm not using my strong fingers, okay, I'm not using my thumb, index, and middle finger. I'm actually using my ring finger and my, in, and my uh, middle finger here with my thumb directly underneath. That puts my pinky and my index finger on the outside. You can actually throw with the fingers pointed up. You'll see a lot of photos of guys in the pros in college throwing with these fingers sitting up there. You can also just put them along the side also. But the main thing is here, holding along the road with your middle finger and your ring finger, thumb directly underneath. This ball rotates just like a two-seam fastball, but by using the weaker fingers again, okay, and by taking about 5% arm speed off, okay, you'll have a ball that will have a little bit of movement with a little bit of drop to it. Okay. The last one I want to talk about is the OK change. Okay. This one's a little bit more difficult, okay. but again, for guys that have larger hands, this one they can handle a little bit and it's worth practicing. Basically, you make the OK symbol. Take the ball, you put it in your hand with the OK symbol. Now, this one's usually thrown with the long seams okay, or with the road again. Now, this is what it looks like from the side. Notice I still have some space back here. I have the OK symbol fingers on top from the side it looks like that okay now this one can be meant to throw uh, just like the glab and change a two seam rotation coming off straight just throwing the ball with your fingertips okay have the ball come this way again it will have weaker fingers will have a little bit of movement to it and a little bit more drop because you're throwing with the two seams instead of the four the other thing you can do with this one is do finger pressure this is meant for uh, more college and high school players when you're throwing the ball, you rotate your fingers this way. You don't rotate your arm, you rotate your fingers. Finger pressure, finger pressure. Okay. So when you're throwing the ball, the ball tends to come off a little bit with a sideways spin. Again, gives it a little bit more of a down and in type of movement. Very good for movement, very tough to control. Make sure your change-ups have control. Change-ups are meant to be thrown low from the belt down of a batter, never higher. Okay, change-ups should be thrown with control or you're just going to be burying them into the ground or have no control. It's going to be a waste of a pitch. Work with these grips. Throw them in practice. When you have a catch, work on your grips. The more you throw a change-up, the better it gets. It won't happen overnight. This is something that needs practice over and over. So work with your change-up grips. Practice them. Throw them in a game low as possible and hopefully you'll have some success. Okay. Join us uh, again for more video lessons in the future. Thanks.